is April 1st and we're coming at you with the principal post. Ms. Orr is your principal, of course, and this is Ms. Osada, your assistant principal. And we're going to be reading a bilingual book for you today. We're going to be reading half of it, half of it. And then you're going to have to stay tuned tomorrow for the second part. It's called Calor, A Story of Warmth for All Ages. And the text is by Juanita Alba. And the illustrations are by Amado Peña Jr. My grandfather used to say, that the warmth of the sun is the blanket of the poor. Abuelito decía que el calor del sol es la cobija de los pobres. The warmth has always been my friend. I have always loved it. El calor siempre ha sido mi amigo. Siempre lo he querido. My mother's warmth gives me strength because I know that her love is always with me. Whether I do well or not, she always loves me. El calor de mi mamá me da fuerza porque sé que su amor siempre está conmigo. Haga bien o no, ella siempre me quiere. I know that warmth lives between the shades of orange and red. Yo sé que el calor vive entre el anaranjado my grandmother's warmth makes me feel like cuddling up to her. Her warmth has the smell of fresh roses and freshly made tortillas. El calor de mi abuelita me hace que me acurruque con ella. Su calor tiene el olor a rosas frescas y tortillas recién hechas. Mmm, I can smell that. Mm. Everything that mother does, making quilts, cooking chili, her caresses, shows the warmth that she that lives in her. Todo lo que mamá hace, las colchas, el chile guisado, sus caricias, demuestra el calor que vive en ella. I have many uncles. Nothing compares to the power of their warmth. Mis tíos son muchos. Nada se compara con el poder de ese calor. The animals also look for the warmth of love. También los animales buscan el calor del amor. I know my little doggy does at home. And you are just going to have to stay tuned. You're going to have to stay tuned and see what's coming up next. I'll show you a preview with a picture. But we're going to break it off today, and tomorrow at my principal post, we'll be seeing the rest of the book, and Ms. Osada will help us read it. So have a great rest of your evening. Happy reading.